welcome to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may god grant you your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen my lovely fans hmm, what god cannot do does not exist is the only thing that can save you ledoshi from ekwesu romasi mami water my people hmm, getting deeper and deeper into this case we find out that what we've heard is just nothing compared to what is really happening in this house in the house of pete doshi and juju ekwesu according to the information right now yule doshi said he did not pay bright price juju ekwesu mother said they pay bright price Juju Ekwensu said they pay bright price. It is only Yule Doshe that said he did not pay. Juju Ekwensu did not tell us that they did not pay. In short, Juju Ekwensu's sister called Augusta, confirmed that they pay. And we have been asking Yule Doshe, who did you pay bright price to? Let us know. Tell us who you pay to. Yule Doshe say not pay. Hmm. According to the information getting to us right now, they said Juju Ekwensu, Ekwensu, Romasi Mami Water, took you Le Doshe to the river. Not even the river, to the ocean. Hey, hey, my people. Carry you Le Doshe, go, go river. From river, I carry and go sea. Hey, my people. What God cannot do does not exist. Now he will save you Le Doshe. Hmm. According to the information, they said, that Juju Ekwensu, Ekwensu, Romasi, Mami, water that we all know, that is a half python, half fish, half human. Hey, hey my people. They said when Yule Doshe and Juju Ekwensu, when they started dating, when both of them started dating, they said Juju Ekwensu carried Yule Doshe to introduce to our family. After Yule Doshe, after Juju Ekwensu introduced Yule Doshe, to a physical family she also introduced you like doshe to a spiritual family <laughs> according to the information coming from you like doshe father which is pet a doshe pet a doshe said you like doshe matter eh? he say he's strong according to pet a doshe that people have been calling him telling him save your son do something you cannot just fold your hand you cannot just wash your son go like that Peter Doshe is telling us that where his son go put hand, where his son go put hand, he big person. He big pass you le Doshe. You le Doshe have eaten, drink, dine with these people. How do you think it will be easy for him to save you le Doshe? He is not a prophet, he is not a pastor, he is not a native doctor, he is not a spiritualist, he is just a traditionalist. According to Peter Doshe, they said after Juju Ekwensu introduced Yule Doshe to, to her physical family, she took Yule Doshe on a very quiet day and told Yule Doshe that she wants to stay near the river. She wants to go to where is cool, like they should stay in the river, just go there to play. Yule Doshe feel that not just love. You know, there are some people when you they date, that like going to the sea, that like going to the beach, that like going to the river, different places where they, they carry someone say, okay, let's just go to, uh, let's go to fast food, let's go to Chinese, let's different places. It is called dating. So, Juju is telling you, like, Doshe, that they should go to a very cool river where they will just relax, pass the day. You, like, Doshe thought it was just kind of fun for the day. And Yule Doshe agreed to it. That was that Juju Ekwensu Romasi Mami Water. This is how she carried Yule Doshe to the river. <laughs> she took Yule Doshe to this river. She took Yule Doshe to this river. I don't know if you guys have seen it. She took Yule Doshe to this river. And Yule Doshe thought that it was an ordinary river. That they just went to have fun. Yule Doshe thought that he has found love. 
Yule Doshe thought that they were going there for fun. But what Yule Doshe did not know was they were taking him for introduction. On getting to that river, they said they just put cloth near the river. Like that, just normal thing that they were doing. But what Yule Doshe did not see in the spiritual was why they were lying down there just relaxing. Jujueko Isu holding Yule Doshe. Yule Doshe holding Jujueko Isu. Was that Jujueko Isu has already invoked. Invoke her spiritual parents. And introduce Yule Doshe to them. My people, according to the information, they said the spiritual parents were angry that Jujueko Isu, um, Isu introduced Yule Doshe to her physical parents. Before our spiritual parents, so they say they were angry and they demand you let Doshe and Jujue Kwesu to do a sacrifice for them. They said the same Jujue Kwesu and they said it's you let Doshe that will carry out the sacrifice. If not, they will not allow Jujue Kwesu to stay with you let Doshe, even if she decides to stay with him, they will torment you let Doshe to the last. So, Jujue Kwesu, what did she do? She took Yule Doshe. They went to the market. They bought fruits. You guys know everything that is being sacrificed to the river. Every sweet, sweet thing. They say they bought it. Yule Doshe paid for it. And they carried it. And Yule Doshe as well asking her, Ah, these fruits are too much now. We cannot finish this. Juju Kwe Su said, Don't worry. Just buy. I will tell you where we are going. They said after they finished buying and everything, Juju Kwe Su said, Oh yeah, give me khaki. I want to drive. Jujueko Isu drove the car back to the river. And Yule Doshe was asking, ah, ah, the river again. He said, ah, that they should come and relax. They should come and stay here. This place is cool. Like she just gets herself. Because Yule Doshe was in love. Because Yule Doshe have lost his, his, uh, his head for Jujueko Isu. She, Yule Doshe obeyed. When they went back to the river, it was two ways in the evening. In the evening, you don't see who they go river for evening. Jujueko Isu took Yule Doshe there. And according to what they said, they said they were sitting down. Nekuna de Siamo, because a lot of people have done sacrifice to the river. They don't know. This Yule Doshe own, use it to learn. If somebody have done this to you, whether they don't give you spiritual husband or spiritual wife, you can learn from this of Yule Doshe. According to what they said, they said they went back to the river. Cool evening. Cool evening. Who goes to the river in the evening? It was even coming, becoming dark. You let Juju Kwezu say she don't want to go. She's enjoying the breeze. So according to the information, they said that was how both of them were sitting down. And Juju Kwezu brought out the fruit and gave it to Yule Doshi. When she brought out the fruit, she gave the fruit to Yule Doshi. And told you let Doshi that you let sorry guys. So according to the information, they were sitting very close to the river. She brought out all the fruit and she gave it to you, Doshi. Take she will throw, she will give it to you, Doshi, and tell you Doshi to throw it into the river. You let Doshi say, Ah, fruits that we bought that we want to go and eat at home, throw it in the river. She says she likes it. It's what she like now. She's what she likes. She wants to see how far Yule Doshe can throw. Yule Doshe should throw it far. That Yule Doshe should not worry. That if they are going home, she will use her own money to replace it. Like, this is what she just like when she's close to the river. She likes seeing um, somebody throwing things in the river. Yule Doshe said, okay. Now, so she pack all the fruits. Come. Yule Doshe started throwing fruits into the river. Throwing fruits into the river. This is how she started bringing everything they bought. Uh -uh. The next thing, Yule Doshe saw white chalk. And they said Yule Doshe was asking, what is this white chalk again? He said, throw all inside the river. I bought it now. You know chalk is heavy. So I want to see how far you can go. Yule Doshe carried chalk, white chalk. See, they throw for inside river. 
Everything she bought to do the sacrifice, Yule Doshe practically was sitting down and he was throwing these things into the river. To Yule Doshe, it was fun. But in the spiritual realms, Yule Doshe was offering sacrifice, was giving, doing sacrifice to the spiritual parents of Juju Kwesu. He was introducing himself, begging them that they should accept him, begging them that they should please accept him. Whatsoever they want, that he will do for them, just for them to let him stay with Juju Kwesu. Yule Doshe did not know. But while Yule Doshe was throwing, Juju Kwesu was doing incantations, and Yule Doshe was throwing fruit into the river. Yule Doshe feel that it was a joke, but never knew that it is a spiritual thing. My lovely fans, they said that was how she carried Yule Doshe to do introduction for them. They said when it was time for bride prize, my people, hey, 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 carry your joko. Come and listen, listen to this video from the beginning to the end. A lot of people have made this mistake. Some people will just be passing by a river. They throw coins. They throw things into the river. You don't throw things into the river when you are not asked. When you don't know what you are doing. Sometimes some people do it just because they want to do it. Hmm. Sometimes those things you throw into the river, there is somebody there reading mini to eat. According to the information, they said after she did, that was the introduction that she did. And they did sacrifice. You like those, she did sacrifice of begging them that they should please accept this sacrifice and give Juju Kwensu to, to him. Because Jule, Juju, uh, Juju Kwensu introduced you like Doshe to her physical parents before her spiritual parents. My lovely fans, they said after they did that one, the time of the bright price that was paid. Hey, <laughs> before Juju Kwensu could conceive for you Edoshe, she her bright price have to be paid spiritually. If you like pay all the physical bright price, it doesn't count. The spiritual bright price must be paid. And this time around, my people, they said they have to go to the sea, no longer the river. The bride price will be paid into the sea. My people, beware, beware of some women. Beware of some men. When they will carry you, go put for waiting you don't know. They will drag you into what you know nothing about. According to the information, when it was time, for her spiritual parents to collect her bride price. Because if Jule Doshe does not pay the spiritual bride price, Juju Kwensu cannot conceive and bear children for Jule Doshe. Jule Doshe and Juju Kwensu cannot stay together. If they dare it, they will buy Jule Doshe. So, for this thing to happen, Jule Doshe have to pay Juju Kwensu bride price spiritually. And they said, how did it happen? Watch this video. <laughs> Juju Ekwensu bought cowries. Cowries. That is the bread price. Enough cowries. And she bought a white uh, pigeon. Pure white pigeon. She bought a white cloth. Everything she bought was white. So she told Jule Doshe that they should go to the sea. Ah, uh, Jule Doshe says sea. She says she like anything water. If you go to her Instagram page, you see everything she posts apart from her picture. They are everything relating to water. Everything relating to river. My lovely fans, that was how she carried Jule Doshe to the sea. They went to the sea. Got, getting to the sea, she put white cloth on the ground. She made Jule Doshe to wear white and white. She bought the cloth that Yule Doshe wear, white and white. She too, she was wearing white and white. And to Yule Doshe, it is a normal boyfriend and girlfriend thing, wearing white and white. Then, she has not given birth to uh, the study king. They were still doing secret love. This time that this thing happened. So, Yule Doshe was afraid that somebody might see him and Juju Kwezu. Juju Eko is to guarantee Yule Doshe that nobody will see them. Even if person see them, they don't go see Matt, they talk. Yule Doshe thought she was just joking. 
but never knew that what she's saying, she's serious about it. Sometimes, when somebody is talking to you, not be everything be, be laugh. Sometimes, listening to people's words when they talk to you. Sometimes, they are saying they are real mind to you. You will think they are joking. Mm. According to Jujo Kwesu, she told you like Doshe that nobody will see them. And if anybody even see them, they will not have much to say. Because today is a special day. They said when they were in the seal, now so Juju Kwesu, they dragged very close to the seal. You like Doshe say, ah ah, do you want water to carry us? We are too close. Juju Kwesu said, that is the best, don't worry. No water will carry us. They were so close to the sea that they put Juju Kwesu put the white cloth on the ground. After she put the white cloth on the ground, she carry egg. She can't put near the, the white cloth. She dig ground. She can't put egg. Yule Doshe was looking at her. It was then that Yule Doshe would have asked questions. But instead, this man, love don't carry a head. So according to what they said, they said they were dead. And later, the Draco Isu brought out cowries. Cowries. And he gave it to Yule Doshe. Yule Doshe said, what am I doing with cowries? He said, these cowries, you will throw it into the river. Just the way you throw fruit into that river. This time around, it's no longer fruit, but it is cowries. Then Yule Doshe was surprised and asked Yule Doshe, but what do I use cowries to throw? He said, it's fun. Now, is it not cowries? Is it not just cowries? Yule Doshe said, yes. Will you cut your hand? Ah, uh ah. -uh. Na, be corner. Throw it. Just throw it. There is nothing wrong with it. It's just fun. We are catching fun. They said that was how Yule Doshe carried cowries. And when he carried the cowries, Yule Doshe said, she, Yule Doshe should kneel down and throw the cowries. You guys are listening to what I'm saying. No? He said, you let Doshe should kneel down and throw the cowries. You let Doshe said, ah, he can throw it from city down. He said, no. He said, if you let Doshe kneel down and throw it, it will look more funny. That if the river is coming like this, so that you let Doshe can bend down his head. I don't know whether Una they understand. You let Doshe should kneel down and throw cowries into the river. By the time they accept those cowries, I explain her now. By the time they accept the cowries, the river will the water will come and Yule Doshe will bend down, bow down his head. Yule Doshe will bow down his head, bowing down, worship, thanking, worshiping what he don't know. Hey, hey. May God not let us jump to Joko in our life. Yule Doshe really did what Juju Kwensu asked him to do. He carried cowries, throw into the river. And when the water was coming, after he finished throwing the old cowries, they accepted him. After he threw the cowries, they accepted Yule Doshe. Then the big wave was coming. A sign that they accepted him. As the wave was coming, Juju Kwensu, oh yeah, bend Yule Doshe head. Bend down, bend down. Bow down your head. You let those shape bow down the head. The water pour like this. Every other thing they brought. Every other thing. The white cloth and everything. The pigeon. Everything she brought. The wave came like this and took all away. My lovely fans. The wave came and took everything back to the river. And you let those shape raise up your head. You let those shape say it is done. It is done. You let Doshi not still understand what was happening. Immediately, Jujoko is to say, let them go back. Let them go home. That was how they went home. You let Doshi did not know what happened. If you ask you let Doshi today, waiting happened for them. He cannot explain because he don't know what happened. This is what happened to a lot of people. This is what happened to a lot of people. That was how Yule Doshe paid Juju Ekwensu's spiritual bright price. Spiritual bright price. People are talking of physical one. What about the spiritual one? How do you want Pete Doshe to go and negotiate with spirits and ask them to bring bright price or to return? You people, <clears throat> this matter eh, is more than what we think. The battle in this matter. You people think the Edoche family are folding hands, seeing their son wasting away. No. 
If they can do more than what they have been doing, they would have done it. This woman deceived you, Ledoche, in different places, in different ways. Different way is she used in deceiving children in Yule Edoche. She went as far as when that child, when they gave birth to the second child, children queen soon make Yule Edoche to do sacrifice to the river, thank him then for giving them children. Hey, I never see. This matter is a very strong matter. It takes only what God cannot do that will deliver Yule Edoche. You let those they've already carried this man far, far deep into what we don't know. Deep, deep, deep into the kingdom of darkness. You let those don't go. In short, those strong, strong pastors in Nigeria, you need 20 of them to lay hands on you let those Covenant upon covenant, sacrifice upon sacrifice. May a doshe when he wash his hand, wash his leg, you guys think, say, the woman don't know what he see. She alone can tell you what she saw. She alone knows what she went through. My lovely fans, they said that was her Yule Doshe paid Juju Ekwensu spiritual bride price. Every day I they ask questions for you. I will be saying, who did he pay the bride price to? Is it the physical or the spiritual? Until this information came, they say it was Peter Doshe that was explaining it to some group of people that were telling him, do something for you, Ledoshe. The father said, what do you want me to do that I have not done? You people will not understand the situation that he's fighting. He's not fighting against physical people. He's fighting against things that he cannot see. Things that he don't know is what he's fighting to free his son. And it is not an easy battle because if his son, they reject his son to him, he will know how to do things. But his son still there under there. And he's ready to buy there. He's not ready to go. So when you are fighting a battle for somebody that his soul is crying to be free, but his body is with them, it is very hard. So right now, Peter Doshe say that was how they deceived you, Doshe. To pay Juju Ekwensu spiritual bride price. So who want to free? <laughs> who want to free you, Ledoche? Now, how will you, how will Peter Doshe collect bride price from Mami Water? How is he going to ask Mami Water that they want to come and collect bride price? How will he start? How did they do it? How will he go about it, my lovely fans? This man is going through a lot. Peter Doshe have done everything possible. But this battle is stronger than what you people see. Juju Ekwensu indeed have involved you, Ledoche, into strong spiritual covenants. Even when she gave birth to her daughter, the same thing they say she did. She also carried the children to the river with you, Ledoche, deceiving him that they should just go and spend time there. And you, Ledoche, also went with the daughter tanking the river without him knowing what he was doing. So, my lovely fans, you let Doshe is only what God cannot do, does not exist that can free him. Because they have made him to go deep into their kingdom. Juju Ekwensu spiritual parents, they know you let Doshe as a husband. <laughs> Juju Ekwensu spiritual parents, they collected bright prize from you let Doshe with cowries. Now, my people, even if you break the physical boundary, you have to break the spiritual boundary to free you, Ledoshe, from Juju Ekwensu. And how will they go about it? It is not an easy task. It takes a very strong, strong river person or a strong pastor, a strong man of God. And we all know that most pastors, na river, they, they go collect their power. <laughs> Many of you don't know about this. Many people know. Few people don't know. Most pastors, they go to the river to collect their powers. If you go and meet such pastor to help you to go and fight there, your problem will be times two. Unless you meet the real man of God. Real man of God. That can explain or tell you what to do. Because that one. He must tell you what to do because call, going back to collect money from these people is not easy. Spiritual marriage. Now they use you let those do. Spiritual marriage. Tell me how this man wanted free. 
Tell me what you want Peter Dosho to do. The man has done everything. It will only take the real man of God. And which man of God want to fight this battle, want to go to this extent with Yule Doshe? And even the Yule Doshe is not ready for deliverance. Before a pastor can deliver you, you have to be ready to be delivered. Yule Doshe is not ready. He says, if they call out Ogba Anjay, call out Mami Wata, he not care. It is your problem. He love you, Ogba Anjay. He love you, Mami Wata. He even love the bottle where they put him. So who are we to judge him? My lovely fans, they said even if Juju Ekwesu and Yule Doshe break physically, the spiritual aspect, <laughs> they said that one go tough. That one go tough. The reason why you see Yule Doshe every morning when he look into Juju Ekwesu eyes, now another thing they see, because spiritually, they don't, comp they don't join two of them together in their kingdom. So my lovely fans, Peter Doshe said, there is nothing he can do. He don't do everything. Nothing they have not done for you, Ledoche. The only way you, Ledoche, can be free is if you, Ledoche, decide on his own to leave Juju Kwensu and run to them for help. Then they can fight this battle. But as long as you, Ledoche, is under the roof with Juju, as long as you, Ledoche, and Juju Kwensu are still living under the same roof, it will be very difficult. So, my lovely fans, you let Doshe case. Those people that are saying, you let Doshe, who pay bright price, who not pay bright price. Peter Doshe has confirmed it. First of all, forget the physical one who paid and who not pay. Whether they do marriage, they not do marriage. It is the spiritual one. They need to break before they can break the physical one. According to what Peter Doshe said, he said, Mrs. Uh, the Doshe name. That Juju Ekwensu is answering. She is answering needs with her full chest because of the spiritual marriage when she do. According to Peter Doshe, he said there are certain things when they don't make you Le Doshe talk. There are certain covenants that you Le Doshe have taken with this woman in the river. So to break that spiritual thing, it will take a lot. It is not a joking matter. It will take a lot for them. They say they are trying their best. Nowhere where they never go. Nothing where they never do. They are asking people for even help to free Yule Doshe. But the problem is, is Yule Doshe ready to be free? His soul is crying, but his body is under bondage. So the matter he asks, this is our Juju. Ekwensu deceive our Yule Doshe into spiritual marriage. And they say the moment they did that spiritual marriage, everything physical started going <laughs> Everything physical started working for her. The moment Yule Doshe paid her bright price spiritually, they said they never born Stadike when Yule Doshe married her spiritually. They have not even given birth to their child. When Yule Doshe go pay bright price, you don't know. So that thing that tied Yule Doshe, that bright price that he paid, that make Yule Doshe not feel wrong. Even when Yule Doshe tried to run, when he saw that this whole thing is getting, the forces that collected bright price, they will come and drag Yule Doshe back. Anytime Yule Doshe won, they will bring him back because it is a covenant. So my people, pray for Yule Doshe, those of you that still believe that what God cannot do does not exist. Please, use that prayer as a prayer for Yule Doshe so that he can be free from this bondage when he go put himself all in the name of Jujue Kuensu Rumasi Mami Water. My people, like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah. And for those of you that are subscribed, I pray may God grant you your heart desire this year in Jesus' name, inshallah. Amen.